So hi everyone, today we'll be talking about the journey of Royal Enfield, the oldest motorcycle brand in continuous production in this world, oldest global motorcycle brand. So Royal Enfield started its journey in 1891. So journey starts in November 1891. In November 1891, entrepreneurs Bob Walker Smith and Albert E.T. by George Townsend and Company of Hunt and Heritage. Townsend is a well-respected needle manufacturer of almost 50 years, standing which has recently begun manufacturing bicycles. In 1893, the duo win a contract to supply precision parts to the Royal Small, Small Arms Factory of Enfield, Middlesex. To celebrate this prestigious order that they have got, they renamed their undertaking the Enfield Manufacturing Company Limited and called their first Bob Walker Smith designed bicycle the Enfield. The following year, their bicycles are renamed Royal Enfields and the trademarks Made Like a Gun is introduced. In 1889, 1880, 1898, Bob Walker Smith designs the company's first motorized vehicle, known as a quadri cycle. It is built around two sturdy bicycle frames and uses a proprietary 11 by 2 HP De Dion engine. The company finalizes its trading name as the Enfield Cycle Company Limited. A name it is to use for the following 70 years <clears throat> so it was year 1898 in which the company final finalizes its trading name as the enfield cycle company limited in 1900 royal enfield delves into motorsport when one of its quarter cycle enters the inaugural thousand mile trial following a torturous cross country route from london to edinburgh and back, the event does much to convince the British public of the viability of the motorized transport. In 1901, the first Royal Enfield motorcycle is produced. Designed by Bob Walker Smith and Frenchman Jules Gauthier. It has an 11 by 2 HP Minerva engine mounted in front of steering head. The rear wheel is driven by a long ravide belt. In 1909, Royal Enfield's first V-twin using a 297cc Swiss made modest Suache engine is launched at Stanley Cycle Show. The model achieves numerous competition successes the following year, including in the John O'Groats to Lands and Trial. In 1914, Royal Enfield's first two-stroke motorcycle goes into full production. As Britain became embroiled in World War I, production of the company's biggest motorcycle, the 770cc 6HP V-Twin, takes precedence. During the conflict, the company supplies motorcycle to the British, Belgian, French, United States and Imperial Russian armies. In 1924, Continuous development result in range of eight models, including the launch of Sports Model 351, the first Royal Enfield 350cc OHV four-stroke motorcycle with foot-operated gear change, a unique 225cc two-stroke step-through ladies model was also introduced. So the first uh, sports model, the first Royal Enfield 350cc was introduced in 1924. In 1926, a major fire breaks out at the 18-acre Reggie factory. The company's own fire brigade manages to fight the flame which threatened to engulf the entire plant. After two years, in 1928, Royal Enfield adopts saddle tanks in place of automated, outmoded flat tanks. It is also one of the first manufacturers to change its front fork system from a drew design to center spring girder forks.
After two years, in 1930, the decade begins with a diverse 11 model range, from the 225cc two-stroke model A to 976cc V-twin model K. New 350 and 500cc side valve and overhead valve machines with dry sump lubrication are also produced. In 1932, the legendary bullet motorcycle is born. It is a first displayed in November 1932 at Olympia Motorcycle Show in London. Three versions are produced, 250, 350 and 500cc, all with inclined sloper engines, twin ported silver heads, cylinder heads, foot-operated foot gear change and high compression pistons. So it was year 1932 when we got this legendary bullet motorcycle. In 1933, the founding partner and joint managing director Bob Walker Smith passes away. His son, Major Frank Smith, who had been joint managing director with his father for a number of years, assumes full control of the Enfield Cycle Company. The groundbreaking model Z Cycle goes on sale. Aimed at commuters, this 148cc two stroke features a fully enclosed engine and leg shields to protect its rider from the worst of the elements. In 1936, the 500cc bullet is radically changed with the release of model JF. It features an upright engine with a four wall cylinder head, a sports version with a bronze silver head is available to a special order. During 1939 to 1945, Royal Enfield produces large quantities of military motorcycles, bicycles, generators, and ant aircraft gun predictors during the Second World War. The most iconic model is 125cc airborne motorcycle known as Flying Flea. These 126 two stroke can be loaded into specially fabricated parachute cradles and dropped with the paratroops behind enemy lines. So, so, in this way, Royal Enfield helps military during World War. In 1948, the post-war 350cc bullet prototype with radical oil damped swinging arm rear suspension is previewed in the Colmar Cup trial of February 1948. Two bullets from part of victorious British trophy team in the 1948 International Six Day Trials held in Italy or their riders win gold medal. In 1949, the new 350cc bullet and 500 twin models are launched in UK. Both bikes share the same frame, swinging arm suspension, telescopic front fox and gearbox. KR Sundaram Ayer launches Madras Motors to import British motorcycle in India including Royal Enfields. So it was year 1949 when KR Sundaram Iyer launches Madras Motor which used to import British motorcycle into India including Royal Enfield. In 1952 Royal Enfield star rider Johnny Britain wins the prestigious Scottish six day trials on a 350cc bullet HNP 331. And also, Madras Motors in India receives an order from the Indian Army for 500 350cc bullets. The motorcycles arrived from Redditch in early 1953 and proved to be great success, being both hardy and easy to maintain. In 1955, the Redditch company partners Madras Motors in India to form and field India. Work commences on the construction of purpose-built factory at Thiruvathur near Madras. In 1956, the Thiruvathur factory opens and Bullet begins to manufacture under license. Initially, these machines are shipped from England in kit from then assembled in Madras plant. A total of 163 infield Indian Bullets are built by the end of the year. 
In 1957, Johnny Britain wins the Scottish 60 trial on a bullet for the second time and also finishes top of the British trial championship. The 250cc Crusader bull model is launched in Britain. Producing 13 bhp, the motorcycle features a unit construction engine and alternator electrics with coil ignition. So it was 1964 when the iconic Continental GT Cafe Racer, Cafe Racer is launched to the great acclaim when a team of journalists ride one from John Oak Roads to Land's End in under 24 hours including 8 laps of Silverstone stuck circuit. The GT features a fiberglass racing petrol tank, clip-on handlebars, rear sets, a humped race seat, a ref counter and a swept back exhaust. In 1967, with only two models left in production at the start of the year, the 250cc Continental GT and 736cc Interceptor Royal Enfield's Reddish facility closes and the site sold to developers. Production of Interceptor continues at Enfield's underground facilities at Upper Westwood near Bradford on Owen until its closure in June 1970. In 1977, Enfield India begins exporting the 350cc bullet to the UK and Europe. Sales grow rapidly as a bike develops a following amongst classic motorcycle enthusiasts. In 1989, a new 24bhp 500cc bullet is released. The bike is primarily aimed at exports market where it is available in classic, deluxe and superstar trim. In 1993, Enfield India produces the world's first and only mass manufacturer diesel motorcycle known as Enfield Diesel. It uses a highly fuel efficient 325cc power unit installed in the standard bullet rolling chassis. So it was 1993 when we got Enfield Diesel. In 1994, commercial vehicle and tractor manufacturer, the Isher Group, acquires Enfield India Limited. Isher has roots in India dating back to 1948. It renames the company Royal Enfield Motors Limited. So it was year 1994 when Enfield India was renamed as Royal Enfield Motor Limited. In 1997, 40 Royal Enfield motorcycle climbed to Khartung LA, Khartungla, the world's highest motable pass, setting a precedent for epic rides across some of the world's most difficult terrain and creating a blueprint for the annual Himalayan Odyssey ride. So, in 1997, Royal Enfield marks that achieves that growth, achieves that point which was not possible by any other motorcycle till then. Royal Enfield climbs to Khartung La, the world highest motorable pass. In 1999, utilizing the design skills of Austrian company AVL, the production of revised 350cc all aluminum lean burn bullet engine known as A350 begins at a new Royal Enfield plant near Jaipur, Rajasthan. In 2002, the Thunderbird, a stylish lean burn cruiser, is launched. It features the first 5-speed gearbox used on a Royal Enfield since the 1960s. More than a 1,000 Royal Enfield motorcycles of all ages descend on Radish for the Royal Enfield Honors Club Radish Revisited Event. In 2004, the Electra X, an export bullet with 500cc version of the all alloy lean burn engine, goes on sale. The retro styled bullet Makishmo is rated a number one cruiser in a TNS auto car survey. In 2005, Royal Enfield celebrates its 50th anniversary in India with the release of commemorative Thunderbird and Bullet Electra models 
and the legend rides on coffee table book in 2008 the thunderbird twins park is launched in india with the unit construction engine royal enfield begins exporting the classic india's first 500 cc efi euro third compliant motorcycle to european markets 2009 the 500 cc uc engine is launched in india the retro style classic version immediately achieves cult status and sales grow rapidly In 2011, Royal Enfield riders around the world are encouraged to go for a ride on the inaugural One Ride event. It becomes an annual ride taking place on each first Sunday in April. The company acquires 50 acres of land at Aurogadam for its new plant. A factory organized trip crosses the Nepalese border for the first time with tour of Nepal. In 2012, Royal Enfield launches its first highway cruiser. The all black Thunderbird 500. Work on the new Aurogadam factory continues briskly while the Trivithyar plant sets a new production record to meet 1,30,000 motorcycle sales. In 2013, manufacturing commences as Aurogadam, Tamil Nadu. The state of art factory, which includes a robotic paint facility, will be nucleus of royal and fields future global ambitions 48 years after developing its first production cafe racer royal and fields rolls out all new continental gt featuring a cradle frame designed by harris performance and 535 cc uce engine this new cafe racer become the starting point for numerous custom builds in 2014 Royal Enfield introduce, introduces a new retail experience in India with the opening of first of its kind exclusive gear store at Khan Market, New Delhi. In 2015, the company acquires Harris Performance, a renowned British motorcycle design and fabrication firm, to enhance its engineering and product design capabilities. Royal Enfield North America was established with headquarters in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It's the company first direct distribution subsidiary outside of India. In 2016, Royal Enfield debuts the Himalayan its first advantage, advan, adventure motorcycle with an all new 411cc SOHC engine and long reach suspension. In 2017, the new Royal Enfield Technology Centre opens at the sister in the UK. A team of over 1000 engineers, designers and testers begin work on research development and long-term product strategy. Production commences at company's third plant located at Vellum Vadhagal near Chennai. This world-class manufacturing facility is dedicated to producing Royal Enfield 350cc machines. The new 650cc Royal Enfield Interceptor and Continental GT twins are unveiled at EICMA Motorcycle Show in Milan, Italy and at Rider Mania in Goa, India. The company opened its first cafe called the Royal Enfield George Cafe in Baga, Goa. In 2018, the Royal Enfield Classic 500 Pegasus, a homage to the World War II Royal Enfield Flying Flea, is launched at Imperial War Museum, Duxford, UK. Limited to just 1,000 individually numbered motorcycles worldwide, the Indian market allocation of 250 machines sells in under 3 minutes. Kaila Reva a 18 year old racer from California sets a new land speed record of 157 mph during speed week at Bonneville Salts Flat. A bike, a Continental GT 650 twin, is specially prepared for Bonneville with SNS cycle engine tuning and a Harris performance frame. In 2018, 
18 with design cues taken from 1140cc KK V twins of the late 1930s. The 830cc KX concept V twin demonstrate the capabilities of the design team at UK Technology Centre, featuring Gidder Fox with an integrated headlight and a single sided Sotwell rear. It is a star of the show when unveiled at EICM. So, this was a journey of Royal Enfield from 1891 to 2018. Please share and subscribe for new brand stories update. Thank you. Thank you very much.